Even close to being pronounced right. But that's alright. Uh... So the script isn't going too great, and he's freaking out about it. Directors keep rejecting it. You can try to film it yourself, even if it sucks. Yeah. It also feels really fucking hard, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. People just don't get it sometimes. You know, not what the fuck you're talking about until you like show them what it is. Exactly. Nothing more in this room is full, as far as I can tell. I don't, I don't see anything new. Alright. Let's go to a different time. Alright, we're doing that puzzle in the hallway, right? Yep. Uh... uh oh. oh. That seems bad. Alright, see ya. So you got, so I got so, some of them. Okay, so is there, is that all? Well, I think I might have to do some of the other ones too. Okay. And is that one you can't open? Oh, never mind. Well, there was the other one that I couldn't open. Okay. Nineteen eighty-five and six, I think, are good. Okay. Intelligent travel guide. Mayshin's been selfieing in a room since we can't go on our trip anymore. Can we go and read Mayshin her favorite storybook? No, she probably. Go on her. Candles by touching. Locked suitcase. Police on the scene, you know what I mean? <laughs> Drawing mission based on my wine poem. Choose a crown and a red dress are the basic elements of a superstar. Okay. Poem attached to a wine pot. My beloved child, this wine will follow you sweet and ripe. Brewing in the pot, mother's three blessings, wishing your silhouette embraced by silk, wishing your hair illuminated by stars, wishing your steps admired by all. As I await patiently, let time mold you into a lustrous jewel. It's a little weird to put that there. Yeah, this is real big, like... Wine pot. Did they, they, they get rid of the fridge in there? Just no, I mean the candles. Oh, they can't put them on. Yes, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know if that's like part of like this big ritual or something. I think they're like talking about like some ceremony, I guess. Kind of. Ragdoll. My family by Dumation. There are three people in my family: my father, my mother, and I. My mother is a housewife who like who likes to sing while she is cooking. My mother used to be a famous star. Every song she sings sounds perfect. My father is a screenwriter. He writes a lot of words every day. He often works late, and I can't bother him when he works, or my mother will scold me. Although I am sick, I can't go to school often. Mom and Dad always take care of me at home. My mom says if I get better, I'll be able to play outside more often. I love my mommy and daddy. I wish for us to live a healthy and loving life. So, she has a lot of disappointment because of this ailment. Yeah. yeah. I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Okay. Thanks a lot for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Taiwan. Thanks for scare making me poop my pants. <laughs> Yeah, of the sacrifice. 
However, nothing good lasts forever. One year, the novice monk suddenly fell victim to an illness. Uh, it ravaged his body and soul. He could not eat for days. His health declined rapidly, but the village doctors were stumped. The farmer could do nothing but worry endlessly. At this time, the snake abruptly appeared and said to the farmer, I am a spirit serpent and a thousand years of age. Since your child's birth, I have witnessed his resolve. His great sense of duty and... Uh, Filial piety? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, his virtuousness outshines even my own. Uh, let me help him through his troublesome bout. Heed my instructions, my flesh and blood. Root into a medicinal wine shall remedy its condition instantly. Uh, his great spirit serpent delivers a fatal bite into himself, offering his body to the ever grateful farmer. So the ritual with this pot seems to be that... Um, uh, it will sacrifice himself because his blood will create a medicinal wine to cure the illness. Okay. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming I don't like it. At all. <laughs> no, sir. I don't like it. Uh, I just had a doll attack me. I'm not having this. <laughs> this whole house is just full of dolls. Just fucking riddled with them. Just lousy with <laughs> so dolls. Many dolls! Too many dolls in this room! <laughs> oh, can't go in here. Too many dolls. Okay. Uh, school correspondence. It's boring at home. The same stuff keeps playing on TV, but I'm sick, so I can't go to school. I've been to so many doctors, and I'm still not feeling well. I have to write in my journal because my classmates do, too. Uh, today, I have to feed Daddy's arowana fish. It must be sad being stuck in its little tank, just like me in my house. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's what kind of fish it is. Uh oh uh, alarm clock. Let's go out and play, let's go out and play, let's go out uh, and play. Uh, duration. Duration. Okay. Alarm so you only get crashed, it looks like. Door. Um. Okay. Four score and seven years ago. I tell you, Daddy lied to me again. He said we were going on a trip. Oh, you're like the fish now. He changed his mind and said we could. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Makes sense. I like that. I know I'm not sick anymore. I promise to take me to the Alishan today. Duke Nukem shit. Go <laughs> by myself then. I'll bring my storybook. Because you see your reflection in the mirror says a Duke Nukem model. Damn, I look good. <laughs> Damn, I look good. My balls. <laughs> balls, balls, balls. All I can balls, think about is that balls, fucking ventral harassment where the guy is just. I'M GETTING CHILLS AGAIN! Yeah, he's just- THE just FUCK like, OFF MY GODDAMN VENT! He's, he's just freaking this lady out. He's just spamming the word balls over and over. That's all he's doing. Window. <laughs> balls, 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 balls. The balls. fuck out of here! I'm here to Window. chew ass and take gum. <laughs> I'm here to chew ass and take gum. <laughs> I'm all out of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my mom and dad, but... Eh. Oh, what? Whatever. 
<laughs> Whatever. This button makes the demons come for pills. Oh, she's having trouble breathing, being all stubborn. Can't you eat the vitamins? So she's just finishing with the doctor's prescription. Where'd the rest of her pills go? I was just tapping on the fish tank. Oh, she's just dropping the pills into the fish tank. And now I, the fish, am dying from vitamins! Uh, that sucks. I was a good fish. Oh. Uh, got like a little. Ooh. Marble oh, fish shine. Shine. Well, Damn. My favorite fish was killed by vitamins. Don't take vitamins, they will kill you. <laughs> okay, embraced by silk, illuminated by stars. Huh. I'm not sure if that's a puzzle or not. I guess it's the same wine pot. It's still locked. It's still that thing. Bit different yet. What needs a fish eye? Push it to that. Oh, oh, the, remember the secret in the cupboard in the closet. Give me the eyeball. Oh, it's one of these these thingies. You gotta like roll cool. it into like a marble, like. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, never mind. You got right through there. Center, I guess, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think the physics are a little bit more forgiving than the real one of those. Yeah. Because those things, I, like, those, like, those water ring toss. Suitcase key. Where it's like. Hey, you missed, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's really dark. That's bad. I can open the suitcase and. I can open the meat case. Suitcase is now. What's in the, case. the deal with the meat cube? <laughs> it's my new invention. The meat, meat cube. cube. They don't throw roll off <laughs> of the <laughs> spaghetti <laughs> and land in the cater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was so fucking stupid. I God, I, for, I almost forgot about that. Let me get the got them. Them, like invents all other Steve Oedeker yeah things. Was... Storybook. We're assigned by okay, two meat cubes. You can always request an Aretas to her at bedtime. I oh, got a storybook. Read story to fish. It's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. Dad said if I took my medicine, he would take me out to play. But he was lying again. I really took my medicine. It was a good day, but Mom and Dad still lied to me. Dad bought a bunch of vitamins, but I don't want to take any. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Daddy always lies. I don't want any vitamins. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play. Da -da 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 -da. I won't, I won't, I won't. And you owe me, owe me, owe. <laughs> With the... Actually, I don't think, you know, I don't know where you can put that kid. Story about probably in here. Yeah, probably. Yes, 
ceramic doll storybook. Are you my mommy? <laughs> no, you're a snort. <laughs> storybook is fucking thick. So long it was taking a load, it's like, damn, it's a big ass storybook. Warning, if you are reading from left to right, <laughs> you are reading the wrong way. <laughs> oh man, it's fucking Yugi Moto's on the first page. Oh, you're reading the fucking wrong way. <coughs> Father's on the hunt. A gigantic mountain boar Pretty good appears in the forest. Father's precise arrows strike the boar's leg. And then it kills him and starts the Game of Thrones. <laughs> the daughter Shasha carefully tends to her father. But father is in constant pain. He gives him herbs and applies elixirs to drink, but nothing works. Bedridden for days and nights, father's illness does not get any better. Shasha is very sad. She's unable to sleep. She decides to embark on a journey to find a cure. Crosses peaks and valleys to reach the Temple of the Fertile Goddess. The Temple of the Fertile Goddess is a grand golden palace. It rests in the middle of the forest with its embrace wide open. Any resident of the forest is a welcome guest. Down looks like the Great Fairy a little bit. Yeah. Will you plead? Will you fuck? Will you hear my father's illness? This here is an extraordinary flower. When it blooms, any illness, however severe, will be fully cured. I got his hands shot shot. <laughs> a magical seed. You must fertilize this magic seed with the most precious thing in the land, says the fertile goddess. Ugh. Father used to tell me the most precious spirit water is located in the top of the sky tree. Uh, stepping out of the temple, Shasha sits off on her own. She comes to a small grove and pushes deep into the woods. Oh, that's Born. cool. That's that's what. Born. Cool. Born. That's awesome. They should make. They should just like make a whole game that looks like this. I like that. I like how you like fold into the crease. Yeah. Oh no, they should have stayed like that. This is still fine, but I, I kind of like that it was like a big crease in the center of the page. Yeah. She uh, pushes and loads the tree as hard as she can. She's rewarded with a juicy apple. This looks really fucking good. Driving in, I'm speeding in a vigorously <laughs> best right. The chubby bear is awfully hungry. It wants to eat a juicy apple and make a tasty meal. Oh no. Did you throw it? Yeet. Yes. Apple. Good. The water's too deep. Oh, she got across the river. Is the bear gonna be like, "Hey, thanks for the apple. Can I help you get across the river?" Am I going to leap with my Mario jumps? Boring, boring. It just like adds adds in a bunch of like Mario sound effects. It's fucking really good looking background. Holy yeah, shit, this is this beautiful. beautiful. Really good. Kind of, I know they got. I know they got their whole studio destroyed, but I hope hope they could make like another game that looks like this. Yeah. It's really the tension kind of. Uh, there wasn't any like jumping, and it was very dark. But. Oh, well, you gotta throw it across, and he's gonna. Hello, Mister Bear. Go get the thing. Cross the apple to the other side. The dog just makes himself into a bridge. And by the dog, I mean the bear. <laughs> and, uh, I, I know, I know, I know about your your illness. It's gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> they're, they're all dogs to me now. <laughs> Honestly, bears and dogs are 
not the same, but they're <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're both mammals, and they both have like they, they have they're... fur and snoots. <laughs> oh, the bear! <laughs> so the kid didn't like that we just left the bear there. So they're like, no, I save the bear with like a bubble. That's nice. And take, and then the bear goes to school. That's cool. The bear school. They just drew it into the little book. That's really great. <laughs> That's so endearing. Would it be terrible if something terrible happened to this kid? Shasha is very frightened. Is there any way she can pass? Probably just make a loud sound. This kind of reminds me of, like, Dora the Explorer go, a little bit. Boom. How are we going to get past the fighting box? <laughs> Can you say 12 gauge? <laughs> Can you say buckshot? <laughs> Great! It, like, waits way too long and then cocks the gun and waits even longer. <laughs> oh, oh, God. It is Mario. Ugh. Oh, there's another one, too. Yep. Burn. Rawr, I'm a bear. <laughs> Why would they let you there? Rawr, I'm a bear. I'm a bear. Rawr. They're just like, I'm very aggressive to things of my own species. Look at this other thing of my own species. Cause like, I was watching a bunch of videos of fucking bearded dragons, and like, apparently they're like super chill until they see another bearded dragon, and they're like pissed off, <laughs> like all the time. Shit. It's really funny. <laughs> they must have bumped into each other. They probably can't see very well. If they had some glasses, seeing wouldn't become a problem. That's very likely. Why don't you give them each a pair? Now they can be good friends. <laughs> they like, don't even fit on the thing. That's so great. <laughs> Alright, you guys good? You done fighting now that you can see where each other are? <laughs> Man, that really sucks this guy fucking destroyed this. I, I'm really a fan yeah, of this. Right? This part's really fucking cool. I didn't know I was gonna have like a multiple like media like genre thing. Here to the water on top of the sky tree. And his high hand over hand. And we reach the top of the tallest tree of the land. Wait, the other hole over there, I think you could. No, maybe not. Maybe that was the same something. Oh, that. The sage the owl is off in <laughs> me. It won't let her pass. Did you get all that? <laughs> no? Yes? <laughs> yes? No? Who? Huh? Take a drop of spirit. It'll let you take a spirit drop of spirit water home. How will she feed the baby bird? But with whatever's in that hole in the tree. That thing looks super fucking cool. I like that. I like the colors on that thing a lot. Oh, yeah, plug up the others. Oh, never mind. Yeah, right there. Steve's getting away. Not anymore, fucko. Mine now, bug. Let's see how smart you are when the canines come. <laughs> <laughs> when all the dogs are out. Just like the Baja men predicted. <laughs> Who the fuck let the dogs out? <laughs> the dogs are supposed to be out in the yard. It just got treated. And they have some chocolate instead. <laughs> so they don't eat the caterpillar. They eat chocolate. They eat the chocolate. Eat the chocolate. Bye-bye. <laughs> you just got a bong. <laughs> I'm going to get my dad so high, you'll forget he's in pain. 
There's just water. The flower won't be able to bloom. I cannot bear to see Shasha cry. He calls her to his bedside and he tells her. It's fine. It's nothing. Daddy's just very sleepy. As long as you are all right, Daddy has nothing to be afraid of. The little girl weeps with sorrow. The tears are down her face. Suddenly, shoots begin to scrub from the dirt. Shoots begin to. <laughs> from the shoots come leaves. From the leaves sprout a flower bud. The flower bud then blossoms into a beautiful tulip. Father realizes her daughter is the most precious thing in the land. Father has been cured. Yay. Thanks to the fertile goddess. Father and daughter plant the tulip in their field. Thousands of blossoms along the hillside, fertile goddess is pleased. And then Shasha and her father looked after the sea of tulips. Together they live happily ever after. And here's Made a little, she probably made a little tulip. You could probably put that in that pot once this room turns back into the room with the... Or in that other... That was another room with, like, clues. One of the other years had, like, a room with a pot in it. I think so. You can either... You can see they're in this room or it's in that room. I don't, I don't know. Nope. I'll try this. Ah, that's like a different... Try that again. I didn't see what it said. Can't, Can't be used here. Okay. okay. I don't know if there's anything else in here. I don't think so. That was pretty fucking cool. Yeah. See, that's, that's why I like was so upset about this game because I was like about to buy it. Yeah. And then I found out okay. And then I found out that it was just taken down. Yeah, that's a shame. For they worked fucking hard on this. Yeah. But they didn't have to include like like they could have just had you read that book. They didn't have to like an like put a whole animated like platforming segment in there. But like Original art? Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. 1986. Like, there's an entire, like, section in uh, the first Nier game that's, like, all text. And, like, almost no decisions you have to make. It's almost like uh, you're just reading the book. And there's no voices or anything, really. Okay. And it's nice because they kind of swap genres sometimes in that game. And okay. I... personally would have gotten more out of that if it wasn't just text on black but it was really cool they did that and i think this is like kind of like more my speed that like they like did a whole different genre than just like go around pick up items yeah that you just you're doing a little bit of so there's the one playing piano looks like a shame it didn't come out very well i wish i could have retaken it Single lens came. Now I can put it on that tripod we found. Wherever the fuck we found it. I don't remember which room it was. I think it was the room that you're in right now, but it was in a different year. I don't yeah. Know. I think it was 1980. The farmer turned the snake's body into a medicinal wine as directed by the servant. As soon as he drank the medicine, the novice monk recovered completely. At this time, Sigu Guanyin... Descended to the countryside. Sigu Guanyin has sent the spirit serpent's virtuous deed. Though it was a mere beast, he was impressed by the serpent's ultimate sacrifice, and so bestowed upon the serpent the title of guardian. Henceforth, whenever the guy helps <laughs> the denizens of the world, he uh, strikes the serpent. Uh, the spirit serpent always followed close behind. Ooh, fish 
fishy, fishy. I wonder where the fish to go. God, that fucking scene is so incredible. I can't believe how much weird shit's happening all at once in that movie. I, uh... Oh, that sucks. I don't like that. Well, you go ahead and have your time. <laughs> I'm outside just jaggling. Oh, it's not a pot this time. <laughs> I watched The Meaning of Life uh, for the first time that I remember, at, at least sitting down and watching it. And I saw the Mr. Chris, whatever his name, the scene in the French restaurant. Oh, God, that scene? And yeah. I was like, oh my. Yeah, God, yeah. That uh, is probably the second most vile thing I've ever seen yeah, put dude. on television. Yeah. Next to, like, South Park shitting a bag of cum. Yep, yeah, 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 it's pretty bad. It's it's pretty it's pretty gross <laughs> sitting through that. That was pretty awesome. He just had just enough food to blow up. <laughs> that was a life or thing. <laughs> uh, my dream is to become a child star because my mom is a superstar. When she sings, I sing along, and Daddy and Mommy say I sing very well. I hope I can sing to everyone on TV one day, so I go singing every day, every... I often participate in singing uh, singing competitions. My father says as long as I work hard, everything will be able to everyone will be able to hear me sing. That's not true. I also <laughs> want to go <laughs> go to play with my parents. They're always so busy every day. When I grow up I will take them out for fun all the time. Um I was so expecting like some fucking crazy shit to jump out. Yeah. I do. Oh, just like math equation. Yeah. Just promise it, dude. He said he was there to give me a roll. What's the meaning of this? Did I tell you already? We're falling behind on rent, water, and electricity. What about the housework? Who's going to look after our child? How can you be so selfish? No, that's not true. Nothing will change here. I'll still take care of family. Fine, I'll tell him I'm not going. I'll call himself. I'll just do it. Are you supposed to do it fast or hold it down or like? I don't know. Just hold it. So mom and dad are having an argument. Trying to help. I'll handle the finances. It's a man's job. You can stay out of it. What What man's job? What kind of man are you anyway? Hold up in your room. Still haven't found any work. You write oh so much, but I have nothing to show for it. Yeah. Oh, the basement quality experience. <laughs> I'll wake up and take a good look at you. No, drop in this nonsense. I don't want to hear it. You wouldn't be here if you could just learn to control your spending. I can't control my spending? Why don't you look at yourself? Why, what did you buy that expensive record player for? Who's going to see it? Find a bunch of useless watches, teapots, not to mention absurd fish. Uh, what are the offerings to this Guan Yin every month? You throw your money at her. Might as well reach into our savings and we'll give it a try. Ridiculous. Admit it. Without Si Guan Yin's blessing, May would still be sick right now. Now shut oh. your mouth. Good, we'll just give away all our money and sit here waiting for Guan Yin to save us. With all these expenses piling up, do you know how much I borrowed from my mother? Do you know how embarrassing, embarrassed you strutting around in that revealing dress? Oh. I'll be a laughing stock. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what? The, give it back. So, one thing I want to point out. Yeah. Um, anytime her illness was described, yeah, it was lack of breathing, yep, and dizziness or yeah. something like that. Okay, so that's interesting. 
And she's taking vitamins for it, it looks like. Mm. But uh, it looks like uh, dad, like the dad is giving a lot of money towards uh, some sort of uh, uh, some woman who's like some who's like who's giving offerings to something. Uh, okay. What's going on? On there. The ripped up uh, dress. Pattern. It's been sliced and torn. Sucks, bro. Uh, sucks that it's got some shit going down, bro. It's it's it's. Cause they're just watching the jeans. The jeans. All right. I don't know if there's anything left to do in 1986. Uh, there's nothing else that's like clickable so far. Oh yeah. Is there other rooms that you haven't been in? Oh. There. Okay. It's also been shown that. It was Mayshin doing some sort of performance. Yeah. Yes. How much? Oh God. <sighs> Fucking hate. Woo. How may I help you? <laughs> Room is all. Hey, hey, hey. I have a thing here. Let's let's all play. Oh, you do have that. Game. Yeah, I, I picked it up for like just a bit ago. Oh, gotcha. Like, as soon as I entered 1986, the year Master of Puppets came out. <laughs> Master! Master! Where's the dreams that I've been after? Master! Master! Master. 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 You promised only lies. <laughs> All I hear oh, is oh, see laughter, laughter. That wasn't there. Hello, me. It's, it's me, me again. again. <laughs> I me. Mean, it's me again. It's also me. The TR. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, that's bad. Also, those light bulbs in the room look kind of like eyeballs. Yeah, they do. I don't like that. You won't get no face, but I don't got no eyes. Man, you know what would be great? If I was, like, selling a house to someone... And I knew that someone was going to be coming in to look at it. Yeah. What I would totally do is just go, like, find them on Facebook and just print off a picture oh. of their family <laughs> and just, like, X off the husband's face. <laughs> and just put them in, like, a bunch of, like, it's, like, plaster them all over, like, one room and, like, don't say anything when you walk in. Uh, no, I'll just have one just standing up where they are probably going to see it and see <laughs> if they say anything or notice <laughs> at all. Oh, man. Creepy. This is like upset. really this is just tacky eighties wallpaper. <laughs> the fucking idiots linoleuming all over everything. Hmm. Scary TV yeah. show. Sure does make me hungry. Right, Judges' final scores have been tallied up. Let's announce the totals right now. How many stars our defending champion get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. All right. How many our challenger has earned? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven stars. A draw. Oof. 
Mason should win, right? Eighty eighty five. Oh, he's just the hell is this? It's like commercial. It's like is it sugar? Yeah. Or like flour or something. Yeah. <laughs> Wholesome family cocaine. <laughs> Yummy, yummy crack. <laughs> crack, it's vitamins for you. Yeah, those are like, those are our eyes. Oh. Those, those are actually our eyes, never mind. Okay. Just looking around. Having a good time. We're having a good time, having a good time. From an eyeball on a string. I'm an eyeball on a string, ready to reload. <laughs> like an atom bomb. Uh, the stuff, stuff, there's the stuff in me. Turn it inside out. God, fucking eyeballs just turn inside out when you say that. Four twenty degrees. So it's now it's Mation's turn. Oh, mm. Let's sing a song. The Invisible Girl. <laughs> Look, if you had one shot to see all the things you ever wanted, you go for it, just let it slip. Yo. <laughs> this is this fucking Eminem, like, just his shoes are there and his, like, buddy. <laughs> And it's like his legs are spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> so back, Patrick. Back to the eighties, and I have rabies. <laughs> I have rabies. This is the eighties, and I, I have, have the rabies. rabies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting to nibble. Nibble on you. So is this the one that has the camera stand? I think it is, yeah. Now to activate camera. Look up in front. Aren't you gonna play daddy a song? Home, home on the range. <laughs> oh, you actually can. Whatever somebody like really knows how to play piano and like can like get this to do something. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, I turned into a scary ghost. Wait, what is that? Oh, we'll bring back good memories someday. Or they might be the worst ever. Who knows? Oh, I think that room has the potted plant. That one. Yep. How about the flower in there? Oops. Let it got me all of these eighties things <laughs> that I could put into my eighties. Oh, it's like eating it. Oh, it like ate it. Oh my god, it's corn. <laughs> yeah, that's corn. I'm sorry, I thought you was corn. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder blossom beautifully in the future. I'm gonna teach the new game how to nurture. <laughs> God, <laughs> play with your Mario that, games. I had a big rings is a big, big teams. teams. <laughs> that guy, it's like, it's like I can't even like describe why that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, he was, like, just fucking improv it, like, trying to say something. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have, like, any plan at all. <laughs> it was just... He's like, uh, obviously, if I even attempt a rhyme, I'm gonna be like he, really cool. He, like, tried to rhyme words with words that don't exist. Connect the dots. Kiki has a crown, shoes, and red dress. He's ready to... Yeah, I think this one was actually drawn out in some of the other rooms. Oh. I don't know if you can screw with it, though. Well, if I can, but... Probably need something to... A utensil to draw with. Maybe there's a utensil. Is that beer? What kind of irresponsible <laughs> bastard drinks beer? Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like a forensics guy is like picking up a beer can, like, wait a minute. Irresponsible idiot drinks beer. <laughs> like he just sees the beer can, and he just gets like, like real mad about that, but not like a murder or something. Like that. It's like what a fucking idiot. He's drinking beer. Oh, God, fucking dumbass. What a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, he draws no conclusions from finding a beer can. It's like there's still something I'm missing in the eighties. Probably well, they're, they're all the eighties. Oh, the flowers grew here to let this thing happen. Up there, there's so much room where babies burp and flowers bloom. Everyone dreams so I good. could dream too. I fucking love that song there, from that movie. Uh, where the that one and Uncle Fucker so are like really good. Yeah. And the Resistance. Oh, that song's super good too. That That is like a, such a good fucking soundtrack. Then something happened. Daddy gave me a gift. It was a storybook. I lay in bed. He reads each page aloud to me. I drew some of the pages too. Made parts of the story sillier. It was so much fun. It also taught me how to fold flowers. We rounded a colored paper. We used pages of script Daddy had discarded. Folding was hard at first, but Daddy helped me, and it made me very happy. After making a bunch of these tulips, my breathing got a lot better. It was like magic. I secretly hid the best looking tulip in the book. Ah. The next time Daddy reads to me, he'll see it for sure. But he didn't. It stayed in a book. Till now. So it's pretty clear to me that she's having some sort of panic attack. Yeah. And that anytime she's, like, having a good time is when it seems to go away. Yeah. Which is kind of how that goes. So it's like a, like a panic disorder or she's got, like, asthma. Yeah. I think it's just she kind of has some bad home life sometimes. And because of that, she doesn't really know. Out of hand, or like she, her body it goes stresses into, her out super hard. And she's yeah, going in the shock or something. Exactly. And it doesn't help that she's trying to follow in her mom's footsteps to be a big star. Yeah, it doesn't help. In the faint candlelight, the husband sits disheartened at his writing desk. Oh, I can't think of anything. Am I reaching to the limits of my creativity? Outside of the room, the child sits on the floor, fiddling with a piece of paper. The husband glances over and notices it's one of his rejected scripts. Hey, put that down this instant. The husband reaches forward, grabs the paper, and finds it's been folded into a flower. Father, look, I made this tulip for you. With mixed feelings, the husband takes the paper flower. Paper flower, these papers that were despised by the world were treasures in the eyes of his child. Carved relief fragment. This looks pretty. Yeah, pretty cool. Satan's pretty cool. <laughs> this fucking Baphomet statue. And then that guy's there. Of course. That guy. Andrew Bowser would be there. Yeah, Andrew Bowser. I can't remember, remember his name. Onyx the Fortuitous. Slayer <laughs> the Bright Realm. <laughs> Alright. That was what that was. 
I just want to die. Put, the Put your arms around, around me, baby. Arms. Put the noose around me, baby. <laughs> I just wanna die. <laughs> it's a good sign to sing when you're like, you got really bad, like, diarrhea. <laughs> I sing it at work pretty often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't use whatever the fuck that is there. I think you need the rest of the pieces. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, there was a clue here, but I don't remember. It was the crown, the shoes, and the dress. I think. Oh, I, I don't know why I wouldn't have guessed that. I, I just, I barely remember that clue. Yeah. But I figured those three things. Looking forward to the day when I can open it. That's a Chrono Trigger puzzle. <laughs> they should make a Chrono Trigger anime. Yeah, that would be cool. There's not enough demand for it. Everybody who's into it's like old, so they're like yeah. not gonna do it because like they want to like do stuff for the now gen. Yeah, yeah. the kids now, which hey, is cool. Hey, we're done with nineteen, nineteen, nineteen eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> those weird, like those carousels that you could like spin really fast and like give somebody like a fucking broken arm. Oh shit, I didn't even notice it. Yeah, I just noticed that in the center of the room. <laughs> to the school dean! <laughs> One issue of my child, do my shins frequent non tenants. I reiterate that my intentions are not to disrupt the school trip arrangements as are con uh, contest eight years. You have to step up the amount of training she's receiving. I have no doubt you've witnessed her exceptional talents. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's dropped a ration in your pocket. <laughs> is receiving. I have no doubt that you've witnessed her exceptional talent and charm on TV. These attributes must be properly cultivated and developed. Every single minute of training is crucial to her growth. Her health and mental well-being is also of great importance. The cold front comes in along the shore around this time of year. Mayshin is prone to illness and will not risk setbacks to her competitive readiness. I'm positive you won't want to see that happen. Thus, just as before, I will have to withdraw her attendance from this trip. Rest assured, I will arrange a separate educational outing at another time. I am confident there are comparable trips we could go on that will be both instructive and fun for her. Please understanding and consider a matron's particular needs. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no, you're gonna break an arm. Oh no. Oh, oh those are some scary ass. Fun blossom, fun blossom. When will you bloom? I'm gonna shit everyone's <laughs> pants. What is she holding? I'm gonna puke all <laughs> fucking day when I. Oh, just clapping. That was pretty fucking weird. That was pretty weird, right? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Back to 86. Come crawling faster! <laughs> Obey your master! Oh, this is different. It's a wine cellar now. Number 19. Clear skies. <laughs> Tired, tread on burst stomach. The city's afraid of me. I've seen <laughs> its true face. <laughs> My head will hurt. I can't breathe and I'll shiver and cough. Been like this and hasn't been like this in a while i don't know why things can be normal at school but i'll start imagining bad things happening i often get the feeling that i can't get enough air that i ah! that's that snake spirit remember yep <laughs> it's also beetlejuice <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> come for your daughter it takes sure. me to see mentor who if i get cold or don't feel well daddy also takes me there to pray okay that's because one time when I was very sick, it was a visit to Mentor Who that made me better, and that's why Daddy trusts her very much. Mama says not to trust her, though. But Daddy does, so I do, too. I'll try my best to get better, for sure. So, Dad's, like, really into this mentor person. 
Yeah, he's doing something spooky. With some spooky snake spirit. 